Hi guys and greetings from Bangkok, Thailand. We've now had a, a really amazing week, both me and Savali here. It's just unbelievable experience. Uh, week-long Muay Thai camp uh, in this like an area which is maybe like a 10 kilometers from the right, from the center of the Bangkok here. It's a Muay Thai, uh, this sort of camp called Kung Sitha Muay Thai. And right now, like, um, you probably can't hear it, but the camp is right there. This is like the residence that is next to the uh, to the, to the gym actually here, the Muay Thai gym. And I can hear like the voices that the coaches always shout when you do like the punch their uh, the, the pads and all that and they make these noises. And I just feel very like nostalgic almost already and I know I'm gonna miss this uh, miss this whole experience because it was really amazing. And I think I got so much out of this and I learned so much more about like surprisingly so much about like how much I can endure just physically and mentally as well. And so I wanted to walk you through this whole experience that I've kind of had here. Uh, both me and Samuli, you know, shared the whole same thing. We went to every single workout here uh, during these uh, seven days. And by the way, just one thing like, I don't know if you can see, but the, the air here is like, it's so humid and hot and you're probably going to see me sweat a lot here. So don't, uh, you know, don't wonder why it's, it's very hot here. But so we came here, it was last week's Tuesday, so eight days ago, practically, there was one day of rest between here and we started to do these workouts here. It uh, comes very clear that they're very high intense from the very from the very start. We do like the, the warm up was already horrible, you know, first of all, because not used to the weather and it's hot and it's basically you do like something like 12 minutes or even 30 minutes straight like jump roping with the weight that rope I've never done this I've done a lot of uh, like jump roping in some like boxing and stuff like that but it's never for like 12 minutes straight and it's it's you know very light rope so here it was weighted and it already destroyed me before the whole workout even begin so now the workout starts the workout actually structure is pretty like similar in most the the almost every time so you get the warm-up then you do uh, back work or pad work then there's usually some technique uh, training uh, a little bit more detail about the technique and and then you f will finish off with some conditioning some uh, must uh, like sit ups usually push ups or some swinging knees some uh, like some just like high repetition and volume of kicks uh, but this first workout was really <clears throat> it was a big shock because of the the heat because of the toughness because of the intensity and because I actually momentarily during hitting the pads like I almost I became very close to like fainting actually and I've never experienced in my life in training like fainting once only in my life have to, has this happened and this was like years ago when I was in Croatia and I had a food poisoning and this is when I actually fainted so this was you know I was there and I was like feeling just this weird heaviness coming to my arms I couldn't like just hold my arms up it was odd pressure and I was like I had to tell the guy I think I I even said to him like I feel really dizzy and I was like and he just, you know, took me next to the, the fans that were there to cool down a little bit. And, and so I cooled, cooled down there and then uh, went off from the, from the ring and just sit down and drink water. You know, it went off like in a few minutes, okay? This, this, so this was okay. So I, I did recover and I was able to continue the workout and it went, and it went fine. But this was already like the first big shock because this has never happened to me. And I was already starting to wonder, you know, the, the warm-up was killer and I, I was thinking like, you know, am I supposed to do this the, the whole, every single day, two times per, uh, per day, this workout? Like, I just was doubting myself quite a lot, like if I would be able to actually handle it. And I wasn't sure about this at all because I, I never have trained like that that much entire, in my entire life. And, well... You know, but but this is the moment. Like this, this sort of doubt and this, this is where it's already the transformation already starts to happen. This is already like starting to get the next level. Because in my mind, I had decided I'm gonna you know do this thing, and and in a weird way, the body starts to respond. You know, and I think many people when they face this first adversary adversity, they they probably quit. They might quit it almost immediately. But for me, it was more like, because I already, I've been through adversity a lot in my life, in my training. And I've been through this in MMA. I have some back, you know, I've already experienced some of these things. And I know like, I was ready 
there's always a point that you should have in your life where you just you, you're kind of just ready to face the pain. You're you're ready to face that weakness and and or appear weak to be weak. And you're ready to kind of perish. Sounds a little bit rough, but this is this is what it was about in the start. Just getting over this like fear of like exhaustion and uh, and being super tired. So you know, and from this point on, the workouts start to feel actually like they're, they're still super hard, but. I never got this fainting feeling anymore because I kind of, I think I made some changes. I started to drink a little more water. Uh, this was one of the things uh, that I did and I didn't get fainting anymore. And there was also, there was other guys there. Uh, this guy from France called Abdullah, for example, he uh, he gave us uh, as, as a tip to supplement with electrolytes that you can get from a pharmacy here. Just put like this powder to your water and shake it and then you get the like, refill because you know, one of the things was that is unique feature for me is, for example, sweating. Like I sweat like crazy. It's even hard to even imagine. Even in Finland, I sweat more than most of the guys. But here, it's like ten times worse than that. Like there's literal like puddles on the floor, and I live. I'm, I'm just leaving like these uh, sweaty footprints wherever I go, and kind of it's very slippery. Even makes the training a little bit hard. So it was very good to get this sort of like extra. A condensed electrolytes, I think, supplement after the workouts. I think that helped a lot with the recovery and just feeling energized. And this is the greatest, greatest thing, like about like the energy. Uh, just because when I know this, because I I knew uh, my body knew, my mind knew that there was gonna be this like a fight, you know, the workout. You know, it's gonna be intense and it's gonna be tough and it's gonna be challenging. So my body knew that, and it starts to like react by actually producing. Producing uh, like adrenaline, I think you know probably some other hormones as well. But I I could sense like this sort of like elevated state of energy in my body, like just being like, you no, know, I wasn't literally like shaking. Well, sometimes I actually was, but this is what I experienced many times, and I think this is already like some people would consider that maybe not very good. Uh, I never, uh, for me, this was like yes, you know. Because I felt ready for the training, I felt strong. I was like, now I can, I can train actually. But I think there are some people who would probably consider like signs of like overtraining or something when if you feel like too much like, like this way all the time. But for me, it was just yes, this is great. You know, I can, I can train. And I'm ready, and and so on and so on. And uh, it just like the body, you just don't know what it's capable of handling until you kind of really push it, and out of fear you want might never actually figure out what your body is capable of doing so you need to let let it a chance to like respond to the situation and and see what comes out from there and this is uh, you know i've already talked about this sort of energy thing when i you know for example related to our program the warrior to an xx where where it's very important this learning to push yourself so here i needed to again go to a new level and finding finding this strength and and just uh, being there in that this new situation that's very uncertain that I'm, I'm completely unfamiliar with. Mm. But I wanted to say like a little bit about the, the trainers here because what I noticed or liked really much actually about them was that they do reach you here. Like they don't, they didn't, they push everyone's, it's gonna be hard for everyone, but they do like read a little bit like what is your level and I think they Kind of, they might take it a little bit easier for some people. They might be a little more technical for some, uh, from other people. And then if you, you know, they know this, you're good. You know, then they push on, push, push, push the intensity uh, even much more. And so there is, a, there is a somewhat of a balance between technique and the intensity. I personally wish, maybe this is the only thing that I wish here uh, that would be a little more like detailed about the technique here. But I think like the, it would have come a little bit later if we went on and on. But this was just a week on camp, so we didn't like get the, the you know, what it would be like in the long term here. But so this week was, uh, you know, the super high intensity. I did get a lot of tips about the technique, but it just, I feel like it takes so much time to to really grind and, and just what is it, like polish, polish the different things that are there. And regarding just like the Muay Thai training, I think well, we, I got a really deep idea about it. and. Some of the things that came very new for me, like regarding the fighting with these guys that never came in MMA or something, was this sort of like specific, unique, like Muay Thai tempo and this sort of calmness or relaxation that they have. 
because you what you maybe see about Muay Thai, you know, you just see like wham, these super powerful kicks that they have, and and they always you know they always emphasize doing everything with full force here. By the way, that's a, a, also quite unique. Like if I've, I've been doing boxing and, and kickboxing and stuff like this, and they, it's it's sometimes quite light. But here it's like you gotta you, know, you gotta really put power power to your punches. But they also have this sort of like it, everything starts from this sort of weird state of like calmness, and they always say like reset, reset, and the trainers. I just love the the way they hold the, for example, the pads. It was unbelievable. To it just felt so good. This also I haven't experienced before. At the level of skill that they have for holding the pads, it really makes you feel good and powerful when you punch them, and they know where to put them in the right place and all this. And also like, uh, it's getting so sweaty. Uh, <laughs> another thing, another thing about these guys is that there's uh, there's like a you know, because I started to think, for example, we went to see these uh, actually competitions here. We went to see like Thai boxing competitions, this arena uh, stadium, and it's called the Lumpini Stadium. And there we see the fights here. And this is where like probably some of the most entertaining fights I've ever seen. And I'm not sure like why I was even that surprised. I haven't really even seen Muay Thai fights much. But so these fights were absolutely <laughs> Amazing, and I think it's it's somewhat because the attitude that these guys have for training it's some different again from like MMA and stuff like that. That it's very straightforward. And it's like there isn't there is technique of course, but it really is kind of a lot of just like smashing bones together. You know, these guys go at each other. They really punish each other, and they take enor enormous amount of hits. And that, I'm not talking about just like body, but like the the forearms there. The core, their legs, like the limbs, take so much hits, and from the, like these baseball bat, you know, kicks that they have, and you know, of course, that's. I look at it, and you know, there's so much respect. You know, these guys are super tough. Just seeing like the resilience of these guys is, is was unbelievable. I really into the fights. We saw many knockouts there, but I also understand it's quite a quite a sacrifice for the body at the same time. To be honest. And I start to like think like really like how you know what is the lifespan of these guys like careers and so on because they have like hundreds and hundreds of fights you know but for example these guys here the trainers I think they stopped uh, fighting at around like 30 or a little bit under 30 age 30 so it's not like super I don't know super sore but it's definitely a lot does tax the body and I think it causes a lot of injuries but for example there, there's one 40 year old guy here. And who's, who's still in amazing shape like you, if you look at him you wouldn't maybe think much but then you see he, this guy kick a bat and it's nuts and even, even sparred with him and it's like these guys are really agile and staying in very good shape even to the old age so I'm, I'm it's kind of like hard to say I know I've also heard that many Muta fighters kind of become a little bit broken uh, at some point but these guys seem to be in, in good shape even now and just a lot of lot of knowledge, a lot of insight into the very heart of Muay Thai. And this is what I really wanted. This was such an immersive experience, like right to the heart of it, like just drawing to the, you know, draw to the deep end and and survive there. You know, this is this is what it was about because <coughs> uh, I, what I understood, like this, this kind of training that we actually went through and the intensity and all the, the structure of the workouts, is uh, very similar to, to the way that they would actually train the person who would go to a fight. So it's like almost like going through this sort of fight camp, but this is kind of how you even even uh, kind of how you even feel about it, you know. Uh, kind of, I think I, I actually lost probably at least a few kilos of weight also during during this week, so feel pretty much ready for a fight. And this, this is the thing, like I, I remember there was like a sort of turning point during this week. Maybe it was the four, uh, the, maybe the third day or something. Because uh, there was a big thing about, for example, my calf muscles, which were like a feel felt like they would explode. They were so sore from the skipping um, and just uh, doing the morning jogs. They just weren't, weren't used to that. You know, nothing special about it. But uh, so they were really sore, the calf muscles, and I. You know, there were moments in like mornings when I woke up, and normally I would never consider training if I was feeling that way. But here was uh, like, let's get up. And okay, the adrenaline starts running. I started to get ready, and 
then then it's good because there's always the war, uh, the warm up here in the morning every every morning we do a jog for a more warm up sometimes after the jog we do some skipping rope and stuff like that but to the warm up really is great because that also especially in this weather you just you know all that sort of calf soreness that kind of thing it kind of goes away and you start to feel it's super warm and ready for the uh, ready for the workout and but what, so what I was explaining about this sort of what happened during at some kind of like midpoint is you start to kind of get used to the whole thing. You, you kind of know what's about to happen, and you know there was that initial shock, shock of like fainting and and just you know everything feeling super stuff. But at this point you start to feel like okay, you know I can handle this. It's still still hard, and just like after the, I think it was this was after the fifth day, uh, there was actually in that morning. We had like a conditioning class, which basically, so it's usually we had like two Thai boxing classes per day. So this time in the morning there was like a conditioning, which basically CrossFit type of training. And at this point, I'm really starting to feel like this sort of like a Terminator because I just never. <laughs> I was like feeling like, all right, so I've trained now like what five days in a row, two times every day, super hard workouts, and tomorrow we go again. So it just. I felt like I had already surpassed something. Like or I've already reached that other side of whatever I was trying to achieve. And this, you know, this, I don't think it would have been possible without this sort of experience. Like I've had this kind of going to the other side experiences, of course, before, like in the Kung Fu, uh, when we did the Heart and Bone, even in MMA, I experienced this things like going, sort of stepping to a new level. And here it happened again, just kind of, uh, there's just this feeling like you went past something that there was a block. It was like a like a mental block uh, about like training, for example, two times a day. And I knew like there's so many like pro athletes that do that, but I just couldn't get get it out of myself to do it like by myself. So going through this work, these other people do it, and seeing other people think it, that it's normal, and then like and just going through the process. This was. You know, probably the most valuable, just like outside of Muay Thai, like not even talking about Muay Thai, this, this could have been almost any sport, but just experiencing that sort of uh, how much you can actually train. Right now, you know, I can tell you that even though I don't have, honestly don't have much muscle soreness after these seven days and 12 workouts in total actually, because the, this, the last day was only one workout and also our first day was just one workout. So after this, uh, seven, seven days and, and twelve workouts. I, I could sense like I'm tired. So it's not really that like ex uh, exceptional or even weird to do like one workout per day. Like you know, because uh, you know most people actually do that. They have like workout per day or go to the gym per day and so on and so on. But doing like two, two workouts per day that both of those are extremely hard and push the limits. Like I was usually completely wiped out after both of those workouts and I still did them. So. This is this is a little bit extreme, and it's not it's not like actually anyone could. I would even recommend everyone to do it. I, I honestly think that the reason why I was able to go through and why Samuli was able to go through it, and the thing about this is that me and Samuli were at some point we were the only people at the workout. So there was like what like five or six coaches I don't remember there, and just me and Samuli training. So people did kind of uh, take some rest, you know, there. But the reason I think that what we were able to continue, I wanted to was. The background just creating having that foundation that we had built you know of course the martial arts background matter like having uh the mma training there and what a kickboxing boxing a little bit since the start of the year but the really the huge the big thing that kept us actually safe was the foundation that we had we had like built for years and years like the, through the mobility through strength training through the stability training through our programs the athlete training program through the movement training program just like building the very for very very long directions duration of time like bulletproofing the body and making sure that it's it's just capable and ready for handle this kind of tasks and I think like this without this you know it's very possible that we will have like multiple even even you know some joint pains and stuff like that but right now there's like zero joint sort of pains you know at all so and I think this is like this is not even very normal at all with this sort of pace like I explained, like it's very extreme to have two super hard, exhausting workouts per day for like seven days and not to have like this sort of symptoms. So you need to understand that uh, there needs to be a sort of level of readiness if you want to try this sort of intensity, I think so. 
of course you can push yourself hard but it's very good chance that you will break something or cause some wear and tear so you know you need to have this foundation like we have built with uh, with our programs the Ali 20x and movement 20xx so it doesn't really matter you know like in some ways what kind of training this is a you know this muay thai is a certain like context where i experienced this sort of like going past these barriers and going past these blocks that i had like this mental mental things and just the physical exhaustion and all this but it really you know you, you're going to experience this in many sort of training this is not the only circumstance you know you, you can you're going to have to go past these things and you're going to notice that whenever you want to step, step to the kind of next level the training could be completely different from here like you still have to go through the same things and you, you need to be able to face that sort of weakness from your body and and sort of accept the sort of fear as well because there was definitely like fear related in the star like I explained that having the shortness and the fainting and all that and you need to be able to like just a, kind of it's more like an accepting you know, accepting that thing and 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 being willing to just being being willing to like embrace it and understanding that the vulnerability is part of everything and and uh, knowing that you know you can you can get hurt and this is also very important you know understand it's something you can you can actually get hurt and when you know this, you will also act differently. Your body will also respond differently. Like I said, like, you know, I wake, I woke up from that, actually. I think this is also part of the reasons why I, I stay healthy, you know, because I'm awake and I control my things and I feel what's going on in my body. So you need to, read, you need to let the occasion sort of wake you up, you know, and this is kind of how it happens. And, you know, I can't stress enough, you know, the foundation because this sort of hard training, if you want to get to this level, you can't just like skip skip steps. You need to go and, and also do some other type of training to make sure that you have a long, you know, a long lifespan and everything that you do, you stay healthy. And this is what happens, you know, to building that uh, foundation through a variety of training, high quality training, like our, you know, for example, the Adelaide Twin XX, you need to learn to also control these individual things and develop the mobility every single joint in your body. And this is what really prepares you for, for this sort of hard, hard training. But that's it. Uh, yeah, unbelievable experience share this whole week. And I actually wish that maybe at some point we're going to come back here to another Muay Thai camp. Maybe at this gym, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Now our journey continues to Taiwan where we're going to be training a little bit more Kung Fu and that's that's what's next guys all right hope you enjoyed this and uh, it was interesting just listen to this, uh, this, this story here um, and I will see you in the next video guys stay strong Bam.